Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Irene and today I want to show you a makeover of office file cabinets into industrial storage cabinets. So let's get started. These file cabinets are from a former office. They are very good quality and when we closed the office I took them home for storing my craft supplies. As you can see they look quite bad. I accidentally spilled a ceramic paint onto them and it didn't come off completely so they really need a makeover and I also want to make them look less office-like. The first thing I'm doing is taking everything out of the drawers. Here I've kept my paints, all the acrylics in smaller jars, as well as glass and ceramic paints, which I have a lot. Some hardware I bought for future projects also have been stored here. By the way, here are the new wheels for these cabinets. I also have all hand tools here. Knives, scissors, pliers, wire curtains and so on. And some more stuff, stationery, wire accessories, etc. After all these supplies are taken out and showed around the room, I'll begin preparing the surface. First I'm degreasing the surface with acetone and at the same time removing all the dirt and glue residues from the sticky tape that they were wrapped in when moving from the office. I'm also taking off the handles as I won't need them anymore. And finally, I'm covering all the places where the paint should not get with masking tape. I'm not going to paint the drawers completely, only the fronts and the bottoms. And I've also left the drawer slides on the cabinets. I've decided not to remove them as I was afraid that they would break, so I've just covered the slides with tape. Actually, these inner sides will not be seen much once the drawers are in place. So, first I'll prime the cabinets. As usual, when painting particle board, I'm using a bonded primer. Here I've got the primer of Finnish brand Ticrilla. As you can see, it has a greenish gray hue. This is because the primer is tinted. I bought it for painting my parents' kitchen and tinted it to match the paint. And I had about half a jar left after painting. So, now I'm using it for other projects. This primer is solvent-based and adheres perfectly to almost any surface. I'm applying it with a brush in a very thin layer, this is enough for the paint to hold well afterwards. And you need just a little when applying the primer like this, which, given the price of this primer, is a big pro for me. It dries quickly enough, so despite the smell, it is quite possible to work with inside, although of course I have to ventilate the room well. I'm also priming the hardware for the cabinets. I've bought very cheap window handles, which are perfect for this project as I opt for an industrial look. And I'm going to install these label frames onto the cabinets. I've bought these frames on AliExpress and I'm also priming them. Before I start painting, I've decided to change the wheels right away. The old ones are bent and the cabinets do not roll well. And in fact, having a cabinet on wheels is great for a working space, as I can move them easily anywhere I want, even though they are quite heavy when packed with all the stuff inside. I've chosen strong rubberized wheels for the cabinets. First I'm marking out where I'll fasten the wheels, it's important to fasten everything evenly, otherwise it will be like with the old wheels. They were screwed randomly, the center of gravity shifted and as a result the wheel plates bent after a while.
time to paint. First I'm going to prepare a roller. Here I have a fluffy furry one. I'm rolling it over sticky tape to remove excess hairs before painting. And that's the color the cabinets are going to be. I wanted a rich, bright and pure red color for them and I think I've chosen exactly the right shade. First I'm painting cabinets using the roller first on the inside and then on the outside. I'm painting with a brush all hard to reach places first. To get an even and dense shade I'm giving them two layers. Really love this shade. By the way, it's so Christmassy. I think I'll use the leftover paint for my Christmas projects, as I've used just about one third of the jar for the cabinets. I'm painting the bottom and the fronts of all the drawers. And of course I'm painting the hardware in the same color. I'm leaving them to dry for at least a day and then I'll age the cabinets using a blending technique. I have already used this technique for smaller projects, but I've tried it with chalk paints only before and this time I'll test it with ordinary water-based paints. I'll use a second color and it is brown. So first I'm spraying the surface with water. The paint dries less quickly and is blending better over a wet surface. Then I'm applying the red paint with a brush to the selected area. Here I'm blending each side separately. Then I'm taking another brush and painting along the contour with brown. After that I'm changing the brush again to a clean one and blending the brown into the red, trying to make a smooth transition. I'm adding more red or brown while blending if needed to make the color transition smoother. First I'm moving the brush along the edge and then I'm finally blending the paint with circular movements to make the transition look more natural and smooth. I'm aging the drawers as well and here I'm also darkening slightly the central part where the handles will be.
I'm also adding small stenciling, drawing numbers on the drawers, perhaps I'll add more stencil inscriptions later, they go well with the industrial style. After the paint dries well, I'm sealing the cabinets. I'm using the very thin polyacrylic sealer and giving the cabinets several layers of this. Finally, I'm removing the masking tape. And all that is left is to install the hardware. In order to attach all the handles and the label frames evenly, I'm using a simple cardboard template. I'm pinching the holes with a thick needle to see where to attach the hardware. Since I want the cabinets to look a bit worn, I'm tinting the caps of the screws a little with brown wax, so they don't look so shiny. Really like the result, now no one will say the cabinets are too office-like, will they? Of course, the color is quite wild, but against the brick wall they look very authentic, what do you think? And this blending technique can be made using other colors as well, like grays or ivory with beige and so on, which will look great too. In the following videos I'll continue my working space makeover and I think I'll start by organizing all the materials from these cabinets. So I hope you liked today's project, actually I thought for a long time if I should post a video at this moment because everything is so wrong at this moment, this awful situation and actually I feel so shocked and so helpless but I really hope that my video will help you to distract somehow and feel a little bit better maybe so be safe and I really hope that we still can live in peace thanks for watching this video and hope to see you in the next one bye